Hi guys, this is Sham from PSS. It's been quite long after I made a video. Uh, today I come across a very good, nice uh, product. So I just want to uh, review it. Uh, the product name is uh, Biomax. Uh, model number would be NBM70W. So the special of this machine is it comes at low cost with the three option. One is face and uh, finger the third one is uh, RFID so this is the uh, model it comes with a inbuilt battery backup so I'm going to uh, run these options and show you what all the options is available let's start with the basic options available on this machine so it has very limited menus the first one is users so, so if you want to enroll you can use this option or if you want to delete it you can use this modify option so two users is already enrolled here so I'm just deleting one user So I'm, I'm calling my colleague to, uh, to check out the video. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm just uh, gonna enroll myself. So it shows uh, four options, face, finger, card and password. I'm just going to enroll uh, the face. Please keep your eyes at the green bar. Um, I'm supposed to make sure that uh, my eyes supposed to be in the rectangular box. Please turn left slightly. Please turn right slightly. Please look at the camera. Okay. So it captures in all directions and uh, uh, first in one feet, two feet and three feet. So I'm just going to check it out. Okay. okay. So it captured so quickly. So guys, uh, make sure when you use a face recognition, um, you need to allow at least some two to three seconds for every uh, recognition. The fastest is the RFID. The second is the finger. The third is the face. So, uh, if a, if a, uh, if a hundred people are standing in a queue for a, a attendance, this this is never gonna work out. I mean like uh, not only on this model, I am generally saying the face recognition is only for the small level of people or you need to put a multiple number of uh, uh, missions. Okay, so now I am going to uh, show a demo how it will work in the less light or low light. So now I have switched off all the lights in my office. So these are all the lights coming outside from my office and uh, these lights are from the uh, biometric missions it is, it is emitting. So I'm going to check it out. Okay. Good. Okay. It's pretty good. I'm just checking it again. Okay. Okay. So it's pretty good uh, even in the low light, and uh, this all the uh, array lights which has really helped. And uh, the other option I'm going to walk through is the network option. 
the network has uh, two options in it one is the wi-fi other one is the lan network so either uh, one at a time it works whether if you want to install the uh, lan cable you can go ahead with that uh, or else like the wi-fi the difficulty in uh, i faced in this mission is uh, i'm not able to uh, download the data in the wi-fi however it is got connected but it's working pretty good in the uh, LAN connection. The one smooth uh, thing happened to uh, happened on this uh, mission is like uh, um, it doesn't need any license. You just need to buy a machine and uh, you need to install it. You don't have the. They are not charging for the license. This is pretty good. Where other competitors are um, charging it for license, even if it's uh, the OS has got deleted or um, that's a pretty bad thing I faced on the other missions. But this company. Um, doesn't charge anything anything for license it's a free and the software we're gonna use it this for is a smart office um, I'll, I'll walk through the software as well all right so I have just connected the LAN connection so it already has an inbuilt battery so I haven't connected any um, adapter in it Okay, so I've got a LAN connected. So this is a software. The user ID is Biomax and the password is also Biomax. This is the default uh, user ID and password. So it's like uh, uh, this application is like um, a C. You can't explain the fully. It takes more than one hour if uh, I need to give a demo. So I'll take a separate session for explaining about this uh, software. But now I just want to uh, show you how the basic thing, how what all the basic things available, as well like uh, um, uh, what is the, uh, how to connect the basic machine in it. So utilities, devices. So uh, first make sure what IP is in the machine. I'm going on settings, network. I made Wi-Fi no, which is like I'm connecting through Ethernet. So the IP address is 192.168.1.11. So it's 1.11. In case like uh, the IP uh, is different, you just need to do edit and give different IP and you just uh, give the test connection option. If it's successful, it's fine. Just click this. Download logs. Okay, so now it shows uh, unable to connect. I'm, I'm just giving again, download, showing connecting. I'm pretty sure it shows unable to connect. I'll tell you why, it's, it, why it is happening, unable to connect. This is because, just check it out here. We are in the network page. When we are in the network page, this will not get reflected in the software. So please make sure you are in the home, home screen. So I'm just coming to the home screen. I'm just coming to the home screen. Check in. All right. So it's got connected. So these are all the common and uh, basic mistakes we used to do uh, during the installation and uh, we call the uh, biometric uh, team and bug them. So please make sure when you are using um, the software, uh, the mission is supposed to be in the home screen page. So this is how you connect it. Then as usual, you can uh, give recalculate attendance and a daily attendance report, monthly attendance, whatever you want. So this is the basic thing. For the full software um, training, maybe I'll load a next uh, video for it. Uh, 
The next option I'm going to walk through is the Wi-Fi option. Uh, can you come a little closer? So now it is uh, connected with uh, a LAN connection. So I'm just going to unplug it. So as I said earlier, um, it is getting connected in Wi-Fi, but still it is not showing on the software. I just need, uh, I'm putting a request for the Biomax guys, uh, just to check it out what's happening on Wi-Fi, why it is not getting connected. Uh, if there is any uh, firmware upgrade for uh, this particular models, uh, please let us know. Um, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm just enabling Wi-Fi. Okay, it just taking a fraction of a second to get enabled. So it's got enabled, Wi-Fi has got enabled. So the IP address is 192.168.1.110. Either you can keep it at DHCP as you want to, or else you can create your own IP address. I'm just coming back. Just checking out. Yes, the Ethernet um, is disabled. However, the Wi-Fi has got enabled. In the last options you have uh, the Wi-Fi search options. I already got connected with my Wi-Fi. So it's already connected. It's already connected here. So the, my Wi-Fi is connected. That IP address is 192.168.1.110. The Wi-Fi is up. Okay, come to side. To side. One second, let me check it out. The IP address is 192.168.1.110. So I'm just making is, or else uh, let me create it uh, for a Wi-Fi loan. Wi-Fi IP address is 192.168.1.110. I'm just just giving a connect test connection. It shows error. Let me ping it. It's not even pinging. However, it's got connected through my Wi-Fi. So guys, so this is what happening on Wi-Fi, but still works very good, very pretty fast in the LAN connection and it's uh, uh, very compact, giving um, much backup time and um, detecting uh, the positives getting detected very fast and in the low light also it's giving a very good results and software is uh, free of cost and the only uh, the difficulty I faced is uh, even though it's getting connected in Wi-Fi it is not getting reflected or neither getting pinged in the uh, the same network. So this has to be seen. Alright, 90 percentage out of uh, 10 I would rate uh, uh, 8 for this. And this Biomax guys uh, should definitely uh, work on the Wi-Fi. And uh, uh, please post a video on that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, this is with uh, cameraman uh, Rohit and Mr. Ahmed. Uh, this is Sham from PSS. Please subscribe. Thank you.